Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to be reviewing this. The brand new Me Coffee DF54 coffee grinder. This has been given away after I've reviewed it, so go to coffeebog.co.uk forward slash giveaway to enter. It's completely free. I'll pin a comment up here with the date of the giveaway, but we have a new one every month. So if there's something else there now, you may as well enter it. The DF64 grinders have sold very well over the past couple of years. They're great grinders for the money, but I have a feeling the DF54 is going to get an even bigger reaction than the DF64 or even the DF83 has, simply because of the price point and how much it's offering for this price point. First impressions, I think this looks brilliant. It's powder coated aluminium as with the D40 Plus, but unlike the D40 Plus, I think the entire package looks very high quality, including the bellows and the lid. I'll be reviewing the D40 Plus next week, so subscribe, etc. to see that when it's live. But spoiler alert, I much prefer the look of the bellows and the lid on the DF54 to the D40 Plus. Price, they're selling it on pre-order for $229 in America, £184 in the UK plus delivery, and you probably end up paying about £240 plus whatever the courier request for customs clearance or whatever. I'm expecting they'll be available in the UK and other parts of Europe on Amazon when they're available in a couple of months, and I'm guessing they'll be at around £240, but with next day delivery and no customs fees. Let's go through the specs. Dimensions, we'll put them on the screen, and if we put it next to the D40 Plus and some other popular grinders, that'll give you a better comparison than measuring them against guinea pigs and hamsters. <laughs> 54 mil flat stainless steel burrs, stepless adjustment, 150 watt AC motor, on-demand grinding with this button here, powder coated aluminium as I've mentioned, and it has a porta filter cradle and comes with a plastic dosing cup that fits nicely in the cradle. True zero retention of under 0.1 grams, even without bellows. Does it? Keep watching. Plasma generator, which sounds way cooler than ionizer for zero static, but again, does it? Find out in just a minute. And it has an anti popcorn in disc, so you can't cook popcorn in this grinder. No, that's obviously not what that means. Popcorning is where beans are fired back up into the hopper or bellows by the burrs, and it slows down grinding with the last few beans, and in theory, it can affect the cup quality slightly. Next, let's answer the most obvious questions. How fine will it grind? Very fine. We'll put the results on the screen from the Kruv sifting at the finest setting. What's the particle size distribution like? See for yourself. This is at about a third from the finest setting, so 30 out of 90. Great at maths, me. How loud is it? Let's find out. How quick does it grind? I've clocked it at about 11 or 12 seconds to grind 18 grams, but obviously it'll depend on the grind size. Is it powerful enough? As with the D40 Plus, it has a 150 watt AC motor, and I've tested it with Coffee Works Custard Cream Nicaragua, a light roast, high grown washed coffee, which can be tough for grinders, and it didn't seem to have any issues. Is it really zero retention? When they say less than 0.1 grams of retention, they'll mean exchange retention, and that means grounds that stay inside the grinder and end up in the next basket the next time you grind. In terms of total retention, it seemed to retain about 0.3 grams of the first dose I put through it, and about 0.2 grams of the next dose, and after that, each dose I've weighed using the Akaya Luna appears to be retaining nothing at all, literally zero, without using the bellows. So I'd say yes, this would appear to be as close to zero retention as you can get, even without the bellows. I'm not even sure why they've bothered with the bellows, to be honest. Although, if you have chaffy beans, the bellows will help you get rid of the chaff. Does the plasma generator really do away with static? I think so. Look at that lovely stream of ground coffee. It's very clean. There's very little grounds been attracted to stick to anything. Where taste is concerned, some people will review this and tell you how it's going to make your coffee taste different. I'm not going to do that. If you're a Q grader level coffee taster, then you'll probably be able to detect the difference between an espresso made with this versus an espresso made with a DF64 or the Niche Zero, for example. If you're a mere mortal like me though, this is mostly going to come down to the beans you're using and whether you're getting well-balanced shots by being properly dialed in. Having said that, you should be able to dial in just as easily with this as with much more expensive grinders. And in terms of workflow with virtually no static or retention, I think a lot of people will love this grinder. Negatives. I don't really have any. If it was pushed to scrape the barrel for a negative, I'd say that I wish the dosing cup was aluminium rather than plastic. And they could have saved the money for this by doing away with the bellows, as I don't think it really needs it. 
Other than this, I can't find any. Please let me know in the comments if you think I've missed any negatives. For the price, honestly, I have to say at the time of filming, I don't know what other grinder I'd prefer or recommend over this. I think they've put it at a very clever price point and other grinder brands are going to have to work out how to compete with it. Obviously, I will be doing a comparison video with these two grinders, so subscribe, etc. to see that when it's done. Theodore Roosevelt had a pet hyena called Bill, which has nothing to do with clicking the like button, but let me know in the comments if you have a strange or strangely named pet like Aristotle the Axolotl who lives in our lounge, true story, and click the like button anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and if you think coffee is chuffing marvellous and you enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. We've got reviews and how-tos on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click on my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.